Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Blue Golf Ball here today with another Pokemon TCG Online video. Today I have for you guys a Bunnelby and Ninjask deck. Uh, it's going to be revolving around Bunnelby. It's got the Barrage trait. Um, you can basically attack twice, and uh, Bunnelby is a uh, colorless Pokemon, 60 HP. It's got to retreat. We are weak to fighting. Um, yeah, not much I can say about this guy. You can burl twice, discard the top two, uh, the top card of your opponent's deck, and then burl again and and discard once again. So uh, this is going to be a milling deck for sure. Uh, we have Ninjask here as the partner. I'm only going to be running a three three line of Ninjask. I I realized I, I really only need uh, two at the most, you know, going at once um, typically. So. Uh, Ninjask is the 70 HP grass type Pokemon. It's got Wing Buzz once during turn before your attack. If this Pokemon is the active Pokemon, you may discard a card in your hand. If you do, discard the top card of your opponent's deck. And this works very well with Execute since you can use Propagate to bring the card back to your hand. And uh, that way you don't have to discard something that you uh, actually need. So this deck, um, you know, it's kind of about speed, but not really. Um, I mean, we want to try to, to uh, deck our opponent out before we deck out ourselves, you know. Um, but uh, we want to slow them down a little bit, and we're going to be running Crushing Hammer, four of these, and two Enhanced Hammers. Uh, and then we will have a lot of switching kind of cards. We've got Escape Rope, two of these, uh, Hypnotoxic Laser to slow our opponent down and poison them, perhaps. Uh, we have Level Ball, four of these, two Revives, since Bunnelby is so weak, we can revive them and just put them back onto the bench. Um... Sacred Ash, and uh, he, and then we got three switches, and then Trick Shovel to discard uh, our Pokemon, uh, our opponent's Pokemon. So, uh, and then VS Secret four of, of these. Now you may be thinking, wait a second, Level Ball, this is expanded, and yes, this is expanded. Um, I'm playing expanded because technically Level Ball uh, is reprinted in Bandit Ring or Ancient Origins. The set it's already out in Japan, uh, came out on June fifteenth. Or was that June 20th? I'm not sure. But it's already out in Japan, and it's going to be coming out to us in the U.S. Um, and to the rest of the world soon. And so Love Ball is back, guys. It is back. And so we're going to get Love Ball for a little bit. So I'm, I'm going to be playing Expanded, just so you know. But then I want to play it with Love Ball. Uh, and that way we, you know, everything in this deck is under 90 HP anyways. And so uh, I figured, you know what, let's do it with Love Ball. And, uh, yeah, give some love to Love Ball. So that's it for the item cards. Let's take a look at the supporter cards. We've got three ends and one Professor Birch's Observation, four Juniper, and one Wally to potentially speed up the evolution line. Uh, Life Dew is going to be the aspect of choice. This way, if our opponent knocks us out, they won't take any prizes at least once. And we can actually use, potentially use, uh, Bunnel D's, um, Rotor, rotor Tiller, shuffle a card from your discard pile back to your deck, and that way we can shuffle this life do and uh, potentially get it back again. So, two Headringers to uh, trouble our uh, opponent's EX Pokemon, and then the Grass Energy, six of these. And that's it for the deck. Let's go ahead and see this deck in action on Pokemon TCG Online. All right, and we're going to be playing against Pro XDE, and it uh, looks like my opponent has won the coin toss, uh, choosing head and flipping heads, and so my opponent's going to be going first. We start off pretty good right here. We do even get the life due as well. Uh, we have the level ball, and no need for a revive right now. We can play the trick shovel, and then just go with the jumper after the energy drop, the level ball, and life due. So my opponent is playing, it looks like it might just be a theme deck. Ah, you never know. Things can always be very deceiving. So my opponent can actually Psybolt us in the next turn and paralyze us. So I'm a little bit nervous right there. Let's go ahead and go for the Trick Shovel and get rid of that Sharon, I guess. Uh, let's go and uh, I want to get the Execute, actually. Um, that way we can just discard the Execute. Guarantee that we have one in there. And we don't need to play the Sacred Ash. Oh, that's a bummer. Um, well, all right. Let's just go for... Uh, huh. I mean, all right, let's go ahead and burl, discard, and discard. There it is. Discarding a DCE. All right, I think we are playing against some kind of uh, theme deck here, but uh, it is what it is. No mercy for whoever stands in Bunnelby's way, um, <laughs> I guess. Uh, all right, so my opponent evolves. We could see a tiptoe step, or we could see a double slap. Uh, my opponent even goes for a Pokemon fan club. And uh, we could see some more routes onto the bench, or we could see something else, uh, perhaps even some EXs, you never know. Oh, it's a Meltank! Alright, and a Bouflant. Okay, so this is a theme deck, I'm pretty sure. Um, 
Well, I apologize, viewers, if you were expecting to see a more competitive matchup. I, uh, I'm sorry. You never know. My opponent can actually take this deck out pretty easily, you know, because uh, this deck by no means is built to withstand uh, punishment. All right, so we go, we'll just go ahead. We'll just do this right here. We do have a hit on Toxic Laser. Uh, might as well. I'm going to play it. And then we'll just play the end. We do get this right here. I uh, even get a crushing hammer, and that's its sails. Let's go with this. Take a look at my opponent's deck. And hey, look at that. It's a Gallade. I will discard the Gallade. And uh, let's go and discard and discard again. So, uh, oh man, my opponent just lost to Bianca. Not that my opponent could have used anyways, because my opponent's got like seven cards in his hand. So, uh, if anything, we can see a tiptoe or another double slap. Um, that could potentially knock us out. Uh, lucky for us, we do have the life do here, so uh, won't need to worry about that. If we get knocked out, I'll promote the Ninkata, and then we'll just play the Ninjasker. Oh my goodness, it's a uh, Gallade. Oh wow, how did my opponent get that? Alright, so we are in danger here. Oh uh, man. Uh, hmm. Time for the Hypno Laser. If uh, Hypno and Toxic Laser can do the job, maybe we can put this guy to sleep by ourselves a couple turns. Uh, I will need to get this life do back in the deck. That's pretty crucial um, otherwise oh we even see an escape rope um, all right we'll bring this guy out no problem uh, we should not survive the turn my opponent can knock us out right here with a powerful friend so I'm gonna go ahead and promote this bundle be here my opponent even goes for another level ball yeah, and that's what I get for making fun of a theme deck <laughs> I'm just kidding uh, I don't know if this is a theme deck or not maybe it's a theme deck that's a little bit modified but uh, here is the Curlia over here, okay, the Ralts evolving, can see another Gallade, and uh, we are in danger right now, we gotta start milling my opponent before he mills us to death, so, uh, well, gotta get some more of these Nincadas going, we do have the Hypnotoxic Laser, we can slow down this mill tank maybe, by 10 turns, or uh, in between phases to 5 more turns, we can knock out this mill tank, and call it a day, right? Right, Bundle B? Alright, high five with your ears. Okay, so uh, my opponent uh, plays the Ultra Ball here, discarding a Buneri and a uh, Energy Retrieval. We get hit for 80. I'm gonna go ahead and promote this Bundle B. Perhaps we can slow my opponent down a little bit, but. Uh, oh, wait, why did I do that? <laughs> I just said I was gonna promote the Ninkata, man. Oh, gosh. Alright. Well, we'll just get rid of this right there. And we'll put this right here. Uh, that was my fault. I I, I should have. Uh, whatever. All right. And uh, it's a tails. Okay. So let's go ahead. Um, let's get this other. Let's get the Nincada out here. Uh, doesn't look like my opponent is gonna be. Um, yeah. I don't know. Okay. Well. On-demand tournaments are available. That's great. System notification. So I missed on the the wing buzz here. Uh, I was too quick to trigger. And um, could have uh, could have discarded one extra card. Uh, made a huge mistake there. Uh, we could use a couple of switches right about now. I haven't used one yet, I don't think. Yep, no switches yet. So I still have three switches, two escape ropes, uh, plenty of things to maneuver around. And here is a crow gunk. Okay, and here's a, a, a low punny. So we got a couple of bunny rabbits on both sides of the fields. Uh, my opponent having a low punny. We have a bundle B. Uh, I think this one's like a jack racket or rabbit, and I'm not sure, but. Uh, and hey, it's another execute. Um, pretty solid. It's pretty good. Let's go ahead and continue to discard my opponent's deck. We get another um, energy card right there. And uh, let's go with this guy. No switches yet. Um, Alright, so let's go ahead. We'll just go and discard. And we'll discard again. More energy cards. Even discarding a Tyrannal. Whatever my opponent top decks, hopefully it's not an energy card or a supporter. Uh, my opponent would be able to play an energy and then knock out this bundle So, uh, what just happened? Um, I, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Dang it. And that's it. My opponent passes the turn. Okay, so, uh, let's see. Do we have that Professor Birch in here? Uh, I don't want to play Juniper, uh, but you know what? Uh, we're just going to have to discard. Okay, there it is. Discarding and discarding again. And a DCE. Look at that. Hopefully my opponent doesn't draw another energy card. It would be a knockout on our poor bundle B. And there it is. There's a there's an energy card. Oh my goodness, a Pokemon Center lady. Wow. All right. So we are in danger right here. Let's go ahead. Oh my goodness. Why did I click this guy? What the heck? Ah, I didn't mean to do that. All right. So let's go ahead. We'll switch and uh, we'll bring out the ninja ask. I did not mean to do that, folks. Oh man. What the heck? What's with these misclicks? Um, 
Well, I'm not on my game today, guys. I'm not on my game. All right, so, well, we'll get this back. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll go with the wing buzz. I want to get rid of that right there. I uh, could have used the... Uh, all right, so let's retreat right here. Let's go ahead. We'll use this ability. And then now oh, that's what I meant to do. There we go. So, and we'll play an N. My opponent would get some more cards, but that's okay. And let's get this Bundle D back onto the bench. We'll go with the Hypnotoxic Laser. And let's switch into here. We will Burl. Uh, for the, uh, uh, let's go for a, this guy, and let's take a look here, what I want, what, what do I want, uh, that's right, I want the a spec. where is that a spec? anyways, uh, there it is, hey, here you go, life do, um, in the next turn, we can play VS Seeker for another end, perhaps, um, maybe we can end ourselves in something good, my opponent will be knocking out this bundle B, my opponent is at seven cards, uh, we can go ahead and wing buzz a couple more times, and uh, this is looking pretty good. So, you know, really my opponent could have been down by a lot more. Uh, maybe even two cards my opponent could have been down to, down to five, perhaps. But, well, it is what it is. Uh, we do see my opponent. Um, huh, uh, going for 80. Could hit us for 80 right there, doing a swift lunge. And uh, we'll switch into this guy. My opponent B gets knocked out anyways. And so, no need to play the head ringer. I don't need to see it again. Uh, let's just go ahead. We'll just discard that. And uh, we'll use the ability. Let's go ahead. We'll retreat. And we'll wing buzz again. And let's go for the end. All right. Perfect. Uh, and then we even get a switch. Uh, I'm going to go for... Yeah, I'm going to go for the switch. Yeah, it doesn't really matter with the poison damage. We'll go with the escape rope. Maybe my opponent will bring out the mill tank instead. Um, and rightly so, my opponent does. All right. Um, mm, well, uh, let's see if I can put him to sleep. Ah, darn it. <laughs> All right, so we'll just burl. Okay, there we go. And let's burl again. So there we go. All right, so we're looking pretty decent right now. Uh, in the next turn, we should be able to, um, yeah, just deck my opponent out. I mean, <laughs> Oh man, so many energy cards. My opponent plays a ton of energies, a lot of these DCs either. We didn't even need to use our Enhanced Hammer because we discarded all the DCs before my opponent could even use them. And there it is, my opponent knocks it out. And finally we played the right play right now. Um, let's go ahead and just go and wing buzz that and use the abilities like this. And we'll retreat into that and let's go ahead and there we go. And we can switch in here and play an N. And my opponent is down to one card. And here we go. We'll just go ahead and deck my opponent out and even put it back. Uh, well, yeah. Let's just get back that, uh, uh where, where is that? I don't even need it. Here's the life, too. All right, there it is. And it, that's the game. And my opponent decks out. Oh, the glory. Not really. Um, <laughs> no MVPs. We flipped six tails. Wow. And, uh, well, huh, surprisingly, we only played five energies. Um, anyways, the summary, your opponent was unable to draw a card at the beginning of their turn. Fantastic. All right, you know what? That was, that was kind of a warm-up game right there, just to warm up, just to get it going. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and play one more match for you guys here on Pokemon TCG Online. Right, and we're going to be playing against Neo TJE. Uh, I'm going to go first, that way we can evolve first. And, uh, oh darn it, we started off with an Inkata. If only we started off with the, uh, okay, fine. All right, so, shouldn't really be complaining right now. Let's go with the Hypnotoxic Laser, maybe we can put him to sleep. Let's go with this guy right here. Let's take a look at my opponent's deck. And it's a Zubat. Hey, that's great stuff. Um, uh, all right, so, you know what, I'm going to retreat. And I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Darn it. All right. Uh, well, for one, I, I didn't want to get knocked out. You see, my opponent could still play a Muscle Band plus a DCE. That could have knocked out my Nincada. My opponent can get a Bench Pokemon. So, better to promote the Bundle P, um, if anything. All right. Uh, that was kind of a safer bet. So here is the Pikachu. Again, my opponent can still play a DCE and hit us for 50. And oh, never mind, there is just a lightning energy. So we got lucky right there. And uh, now I, I just look silly for for retreating my uh, my nin ninjas, my ninkata at the time. All right, so uh, at least we got this right here. And um, go with this. Let's see, maybe we can put them to sleep. Yeah, we do. All right, per perfect. Uh, can't play the end, uh, but we can use the abilities. Let's go with the wing buzz. 
and why not just play the end <laughs> uh, get this back in here and then we'll go ahead and burl a couple more times there it is and burl one more so that was a DC that's another Zubat wow we're looking pretty hot oh my goodness three Zubats in the discard pile these Zubats didn't even have a chance to come and see the light of day and uh, Alright, so this is pretty good. Thank goodness uh, my opponent did not knock out the Ninkata, but it doesn't really matter. We're able to evolve anyways, and so the Ninjask is back in action. We used two of our switches already. I might be tempted to do a Rotol Tiller to bring back one of the switches, and um, that way we can still burrow once and then bring one more switch in. Oh my goodness, my opponent does get at least one Zubat into play. Ah, that's no good. My opponent can snipe my Ninkatas from the bench, and here it is. Here is the setup. My opponent, or the uh, Sky Return, my opponents could be able to hit us for 50 damage. And our poor Bunnelby here does not have the life to. Here is a Sky Field. So we gotta wait and see if my opponent has the Rayquaza EX. And uh, perhaps uh, we can see something like the Delta Trait uh, Evolution. Oh my goodness, my opponent goes for a Lysander. There it is, my opponent will knock out a Ninkata anyways. That's a knockout on my Ninkata. We'll, we'll just go and promote the Ninjask over here. And uh, we'll end my opponent that way. My opponent won't have energies, perhaps, or at least the Shaman, um, potentially. And I think my opponent's going to promote the Zubat, and rightly so, my opponent does. Uh, perfect! We top deck and execute. We'll discard a DCE, play an N. We even get the life do right here, that's excellent. Uh, we'll go and bring a Ninkata back. And uh, we can even get the Ninjask right here as well, so this is looking really good. And, uh, well, uh, I don't have a switch, so I would have switched into the... But then, um, alright, let's go ahead. Uh, I am really tempted to bring a switch in, so we're gonna burrow at least once. Hey, there's a crowbat, and all right, let's get let's get one of the switches back in, huh? How about that? All right, we could use a switch, right? Switches are always good. Okay, let's do that. We'll get a switch, shuffle back into our deck, and uh, in the next turn we can uh, probably just go for an end. Um, let's see, we got two VS Seekers, one VS Seeker in our hand. My opponent plays an Ultra Ball, discarding a Crobat and a Sky Field. Uh, that could go for a Raichu. Never mind, my opponent goes for a Crow Golbat, and, uh, it's a bit of a bummer. We couldn't get rid of this Zubat, but my opponent's gonna be targeting the Ninkata over here. We even see a VS Seeker. We could see something like a, uh, AZ, but uh, never mind. I don't think my opponent even had AZ in there. But we do see my opponent go for a Shauna, drawing to five cards. It's pretty decent. We can see, um, Oh my goodness, my opponent's going to do a super cross hitting 10 on all our Pokemon. This Ninkata is in danger right now of getting knocked out. And uh, that's not going to be any good. Let's go for the Trick Shovel. And we'll discard the Sacred Ash. Ha! Goodbye, Bats. No way are you guys coming back. And we'll go with the N right here. We do get a Bundle Beat. And uh, let's see. We do get the Ninjask. Alright, so we'll at the very least survive the turn. And uh, let's go ahead. And we'll go with this right here. And uh, maybe bring out this Ninjask. We got the free treat, so that's really good. We have yet to see any EXs beside the Shaman, so that's a little bit peculiar. I'm going to bring out this Bumblebee, but I'm not going to play it just yet because my opponent can always use a Swoop Cross. Let's go and do the uh, Propagation and Discard, and then we will retreat and it's over here. And let's go and Burrow, and we'll Burrow again. Discarding some more energy cards, that way my opponent can't pay the retreat cost. Uh, but we did get rid of a Sycamore, that's kind of nice. Um, and oh no, never mind. My opponent evolves into the Raichu. We could see the Golbat come in here and hit us for a Super Cross. Uh, and <laughs> it looks like that's what my opponent's gonna be doing. We don't have any Hypnotoxic Lasers, and that's a little bit of a bummer. My opponent does hit us for uh, 30 because of the uh, Muscle Band, but uh, let's go for that Trick Shovel. And we'll get rid of that. Uh, okay. And there we go. Alright, so. Maybe we'll get lucky right here, and we do. Perfect. Um, Alright. Well, we can switch into this guy at least, and uh, even propagate and discard. And then, let's, at the very least, we can retreat into here and go for a burrow and discard and discard again. And hopefully, my opponent doesn't have any energy cards in his hand. That's another sycamore in the discard pile. Um, oh my goodness, it's a Crobat. That's going to be a knockout on the Ninjask. <laughs> oh, shucks. Could be a knockout on the Bundlebee too, but um, my opponent would still need the energy card to knock out this Bundlebee, or can start sniping something else. And another Raichu comes into play. So this might be just a Crobat and Raichu deck, actually. Um, Alright, uh, you know, let's go with this. I'm going to go with the Professor Birch's Observation. 
And hey, we even get an escape rope, but it wouldn't really matter. My opponent's got the free retreat, and uh, all I want to do is retreat into the ninjask. Uh, I think we will see some DCEs. I'm going to hang on to that in hand hammer. And let's use the abilities right here, and wing buzz, yada, yada, yada. Let's go ahead, we'll retreat once again. And here is our bundle bee. Let's go for that burl. And discarding and discarding more energy cards. There is an EZ that my opponent could have used for the Crobat line. Uh, thank goodness we got rid of that. Oh my goodness, there is a Shaman. Ah, uh, no. Where is that Headringer? There's one right there. There may be another one in our deck still. Um, but if we can get a... <laughs> if only we can do that. But my opponent's going to use a, a skill dive. That could actually knock out this Bundle Bee here. Um, and nope, my opponent targets the Bundle Bee on the bench instead. So... Um, all right, well, let's take a look here. I'm going to go with an N. Uh, I know my opponent will be getting some more cards back into this deck, but uh, darn it. Okay, um, nothing to fear here. Let's go and... Uh, all right, well, at the very least, we can switch. So this switch probably came in handy that we brought it back in, right? I don't know. Okay, fine. We'll discard a Pikachu, and then let's retreat into... Here, uh, play an energy right there as well, and let's go ahead. We'll just burl and burl some more. Oh, nothing. Oh, a DCE. Look at that, huh? Um, at least my opponent won't be able to use Raichu anytime soon, unless he has a DCE in his hand. Um, but never mind. My opponent knocks out this bundle B right there, and uh, we need some more enhanced hammers. <laughs> All right. Let's see how many Pokemon we got in here. One, two. Oh, just two, oh, three, four with the execute, but I need the execute. All right, so, um, hmm, what to do here? Well, uh, my opponent is actually, yeah, that's pretty dangerous right now. Pretty dangerous. Uh, huh. Um, well, uh, I'm not exactly sure what I can do. Um, I'm just gonna burl. <laughs> That's all I can do. Uh, Alright, we'll just discard two more. My opponent can start sniping and uh, taking out these ninjasks. Uh, that's about, you know, my biggest fear. Uh, otherwise, um, hmm. Oh, ooh, ooh, never mind. We see. Uh, here it is. My opponent will be knocking out this ninjask right now. And let's just go ahead and we'll promote this ninjask right here. Hopefully, we can survive long enough. Um,. Yeah, I'm not sure if we can, uh, but uh, we'll have to find out. So uh, let's use our abilities right here, and I'm going to go ahead and shuffle everything. These guys, all of these guys back in. And we can actually use the Wally right now. That's, that worked out pretty well. We're getting the Ninkata right here, and then uh, let's go ahead and get the Ninjask right there. Look at that, huh? That worked out pretty nice. And there it is. Let's go ahead and retreat, bring this guy up, and we can go for a barrel and discard and discard again. So. Uh, more bats that we don't really care about. Um, too bad we can get rid of this crow bat. That's about it. And uh, in the next turn, uh, if we can get some hammers, that'll be pretty good. Did I use all my hammers already? I don't think so. What is that? One hammer? I have four. Oh my goodness! That, that, that'd be crazy if all three of them are prized. Uh, that is a huge bummer. That, that is one of the biggest problems with this deck is that you don't really take prizes, and so whatever's prized, you just don't have for the game whatsoever. You just never have it. And, um, well, my opponent's down to three cards and knocks out that Bundle B. And we'll promote this one. Um, all right, let's go for that Juniper. And, hey, we can get a Head Ringer right there. Uh, let's go with this. Oh, my goodness, that was critical. Um, uh, shucks. Okay, all right, so let's just Burl, and we will Burl again. So, well, if my opponent knocks out something, uh, my opponent will deck out, and that's going to be the end of the game. So... Uh, I should have promoted the ninja ask. I probably could have done that, but that's all right. Um, we see a scoop up cyclone. Uh, we could see an end. My opponent could still play that, and I think that's what my opponent's gonna do. Uh, but hey, with a knockout on the bundle, bee, um, let's see here. Well, uh, that's it. That's GG. <laughs> uh, I don't need to do this. I just need to pass the turn. And we'll just pass the turn and take the win. Oh my goodness. Well, I missed a couple of opportunities, but 
hey a win is win and we had a pretty good warm up in the first game so I'll take this this is a Raichu and Crobat Shaman deck that we were able to take on and thank goodness we were able to pull off a win so well whatever it was a silly deck and I had some fun so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and uh, you know if you guys are new to the channel feel free to subscribe if you like it give it a thumbs up and hey, if uh, you are a returning subscriber, thanks for watching again and supporting this channel. Hopefully you guys all have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.